Today I'm going to talk to you about spin selling, the best questioning technique process I've ever come across. I've been using it for more than a decade. You're going to love it. All right, what's the challenge that most salespeople have? Well, the biggest one is that most of us don't understand the difference between um, a one call sort of low value sale versus one of those complex sales. If you're in the business where your customers have to interact with you, you know, multiple times over you know, the course of maybe a week, two weeks, or even longer, you're in a complex sale environment. And sales has changed so much over the years and people know, like I've said in some previous videos, they can smell when you're trying to sell to them. So today we're going to talk about spin selling. Now spin selling has been around, um, it's by a guy named Neil Rackham. It's been around for uh, since 1988 actually and I have the book and I've been using it for years and I love the process of being able to go through these questioning techniques with potential clients. Um, and you can use this in any industry that you're in. And spin really just stands for situation, problem, implication and need payoff and I'm gonna go through those in detail in the blog post so make sure you read through it and really go, go through it it's a lot well I think it's a lot of fun um, so the different questions mean just sort of the different level of salesperson that you're gonna be the first one the situational kind of um, question would be you know tell me about the current situation that you're in or tell me about what's going on in your business or what type of a sales process do you use? so if it was me I would say can you explain to me the sales process that you use in your business and that's what most people, salespeople do, is they ask those questions and they try and dig and they try and probe for information, which is sort of the, the old school way of, way of doing it. As you start to go further into the discussion, you want to start asking problem questions. So if you're asked, if I'm asking, what is, tell me about your sales process, and they explain to me what's going on, then I would ask a question like, so why is this causing you problems right now? Or what problems has this caused for you? Right? So that's a problem question and most salespeople that are good in those low volume um, or low value kind of sales are good at asking those kind of problem questions and digging deeper and that's what probing is all about. And for most people that they'll be able to get by on those two levels of question but really where the value is is on the third and fourth level. So the first one is that implication question. You ask about a problem they're going to tell you what that problem is and there's always going to be some sort of an implied need and when you're paying attention to that sales language you'll be able to spot that implied need and the question then becomes what happens if you don't fix this problem? and you get them to explain to you how that problem sort of builds on itself and it's the more you ask those implication kind of questions the deeper that you can actually dig into your conversation so if I was going to ask an implication question I would say something like um, what happens if you don't tighten up your sales process or what happens if you don't start getting these conversions in order so that's an implication question, getting your customer to start thinking about where would this go. And if they start telling you more implied needs, then you can actually dig further in those implications. The last one is the need payoff question. Now this is where you can really do some, some cool stuff with your customer. And the need payoff is, tell me what would happen if we increased your sales by say 25%. What would next year look like if you had another 25% in sales? Or what would another 10% more time freedom be for you? Or what would it look like if you had uh, a 95% increase in your customer satisfaction ratings? Now you're talking about solutions rather than problems. And the beauty about this is that when you get your customers involved in explaining to you how a solution will solve their needs, you actually empower them to become sort of a mini salesperson for supporting your cause. And they become sort of evangelist for what you're trying to do especially if they have to go and sell this idea to somebody else um, as I mentioned in the blog post the spouse factor um, going home and talking to husband or talking to your wife or going and having to talk to your boss superior or the management team the the need payoff question is really going to get them involved in coming up with a solution and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're ready to buy your solution just that a solution is an order so those are the four types of questions that you can ask 
And the better you get at asking the further ones, the problems, implication, and need payoff, um, the faster you're going to be able to succeed in some of these sales calls. So get good at asking those kind of questions. Remember that spin selling, uh, when it was released, it was based on 12 years of research on 35,000 sales calls in, in all sorts of different complex sale environments. So this stuff is really rooted in science and in data, which I love because they tested, they tested, they tested, and they found those gaps in the sales process. So in your sales process, make sure you're testing ideas. Make sure that you're testing what works and what doesn't and start to work on asking those deeper questions. Most amateur salespeople stop at situation or even at problem because they haven't thought further about how to ask those questions. And then what do we do? We ask a couple situation questions, our customers get bored with that process, so we drop our marketing material in front of them and say, okay, well, let's look at our solution. That's completely what's losing so many sales today. So I hope this helps you guys out. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about an even more powerful sales technique called a challenger sale, which um, I've used a lot as well. So I look forward to your comments and questions and read through the blog post and um, let me know how I can help you with your sales.